How did your head feel? How does your head feel? Like? It feels good. Between the small talk of appointments, how was your trip? Hair stylist Nikki Alvaro has a vision for each client. Well, I'm just doing a shampoo style lash. After 18 years, <laughs> Siobhan Maxi is more friend than client now. He's the best, I think. I have followed her to every location. Move after move, Nikki hopes her loyal customers would follow when she relocated yeah. from Green Valley Ranch. No, we can't, we can't afford to stay there. Like that says the rent's too high. I'd like to see these people not be priced out of their own communities because they've worked so hard to build their businesses. Real estate advisor James McPartland has been working with Nikki for three years. Her decision to relocate was kind of forced on us as opposed to uh, being voluntary and she didn't like to you know leave her client base behind. Together, they've been dreaming about finding a place that's affordable, beaten out most times by national chains. I'm not going anywhere. It forces people like Nikki <laughs> into temporary solutions like this cramped space. I'm really blessed that I had, I was able to go somewhere quickly like this space, but I've outgrown this tremendously. <laughs> Just as Nikki hopes this is short term, so do clients who want another salon to serve all hair types in Green Valley Ranch. In a community that's very diverse like that, we're being left out. Like Nikki so. has a vision for her clients. She can see what's best for her. And when you have a vision and when you are strong about where you want to be, because I am um, because I am very strong about the location of where I want to be, I'm, I'm just immovable. After five years. It's a long time. People think, I cra think I'm crazy. <laughs> like, Nikki still has the same dream to return home. One of the reasons why Green Valley Ranch is so expensive is because there is so much new development and the property taxes are higher there to support new construction as well as new infrastructure with all of those costs adding up. Nikki says it's been difficult to find anything under $10,000 a month to rent, which her realtor says is significantly higher than many portions of Aurora, or even areas that are closer to downtown Denver. That is unbelievable. God knows it's, it's difficult enough to find places to get your hair done as a black woman in Denver, but you would think in predominantly minority communities, mm -hmm. she would have access to that kind of resource. And that's what Shiva, that client, was saying, is that she loves Nikki so much. She's come to trust her, and it's been 18 years that she's been with Nikki. And when you find someone that you really like, who knows how to do your hair right, you keep going back, and it makes it inconvenient, and it makes it really difficult for these clients to follow Nikki if, unfortunately, they're further away, and she ends up losing business. And then also the clients end up suffering because they, unfortunately, don't get the hairstyles or the hairstylists that they'd like. All right. Thank you, Angela. Appreciate it.